Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your Revit title block to use the Kiwi Codes Sheet Counter tool. Um, once you have Sheet Counter installed, you'll know that it's installed. If you click on the Add-ins tab, you've got Sheet Counter here. What I've done is I've just created a brand new project using the default templates and it has got one sheet in here. I'm just going to open up the sheet and um, if you scroll down the properties here of the sheet, you'll notice now down the bottom we've got exclude from sheet, current sheet number and total sheets and by default they're blank. If I click on sheet counter here, um, it'll go away and do some calculations and it's calculated that in this project there's one sheet and this is um, the current sheet number, number one. In the latest build that I've just uploaded to the website, um, changing these parameters down here is automatic. So if I click on here and go exclude from sheet, move my mouse away, you'll notice the total sheet counts has now um, been refreshed. If I want to include it in the sheet count, it is now um, refreshing once again. Similarly, if I go to view, and go sheet and add a sheet. Um, if I add a sheet, automatically this new sheet here is sheet two, two of two. If I go back to um, the first sheet, it's now one of two. So it's it's renumbered the sheet as well. I'll add another sheet here, and it'll be up to three. So sheet number one once again is sheet one of three. Similarly, if I delete the middle sheet it'll now renumber these as current sheet number one of two. So that's how the sheet counter works. Um, if it's not updating, you have an older version, the latest one at kiwicodes.com, um, download the trial version of that, it will do it automatically for you. Now the question is, how do we get this information here onto our title blocks? Well, it is reasonably simple. What I'm going to do is select the title block and edit the family and I'm just going to, for this example, put it down here. This, you'd obviously normally put it in your title block, but for this example I'm going to put it in here. So I want to create a label and I, um, I'm just going to click to place it anywhere. And these are all the fields and um, parameters that we've got available. And you'll notice that um, our, our one's not in there. So I'm going to click on the add a parameter and click on share parameter and you'll notice there goes three fields that we can choose from our share parameter file. Now I'm just going to backtrack here because first of all you're going to need to set the share parameter file so I'm going to go to the manage tab, um, share parameters and by default it's probably not this. What you're going to do is you're going to browse and if I go back to, you're going to browse to the C drive program files, Kiwi Codes Sheet Counter, and you're going to select the sheetcounter.txt file as the sheet parameters file. Once you've done that, you'll have the three sheet parameters available for, to you. So I'm going to go OK. Now I'm going to go back to create, and I create a label, place it temporarily there, and we should now have this, oh no we haven't in there, we're going to go select and I'm going to go current sheet number, highlight that and go OK and then highlight it and put it over in here and I also want a, another one so I'm going to, so we've got the current sheet number, I want the total sheets as well and I'm going to put that in there as well. So if I go apply and OK, you'll. Oops, I just want to modify this so it's all on one line and just place it in here and we'll just see what this is doing. I want to overwrite the existing parameters and now we've got sheet one of two. If I go to the second one, it's two of two. So obviously we want to edit this label a wee bit better so we can see what's going on. So I'm going to go to edit label. I want as a prefix to type in sheet and then it's going to go sheet one 
and then a suffix off and go OK and apply on that and now if I reload that back into the project we've got sheet 2 of 2 sheet 1 of 2 and now if I go to um, what do we views we'll add a, another sheet here and we've got sheet 3 of 3 if I decide say this first sheet is a cover sheet you don't want that in the sheet count it's automatically doing that recalculation so what you do is you add the labels you place it um, make the font whatever font you want place it in your title block save that title block family out and then that is available for every project that you've got with sheet counter hope that helps